What's up guys? This episode we're diving into using Vuex along with Action Cable in our Vue Trello clone so that we can sync real-time updates across browsers. So what we're gonna be doing is using Vuex as a replacement for a very simple JSON data store that we have right now. We're gonna replace that with Vuex, which is going to be a container for not only the state of our application, but also how to change it. So it will have mutations and actions and other things so that it knows how to make changes to that data store. And that's what Vue is going to be calling. Instead of sending these Ajax requests and then updating the data store, it's going to be triggering an event telling the data store, hey, we want you to do this action with this uh, data. So go ahead and you know save that. Uh, in Rails and then update the UI and so on. And so it's going to be a place where it will know the state and how to change it. And that will get all of that logic out of our view components so that all of that is in a single area, which will be nice and much more manageable. Plus, this makes it in a global area so that Action Cable can call those same methods, meaning we can add a list with the view application, but we can also send it over Action Cable, and then Action Cable can add a list as well that will trigger the update for Vue to render that new list. So without further ado, let's dive in because there's quite a bit to cover. First things first, we want to yarn add Vuex. Simple enough, that's going to install the package, make it available for us, and then we want to go into our JavaScript application JS uh, pack tag and then add Vuex. Load that from the Vuex package and then we tell Vue to use Vuex. What that's going to do is give all of our components access to a this.store variable, which will reference our global store. And so here we're going to say new vuex.store. It's going to have a state, and the state is going to have an empty set of lists. And then we will also have a set of mutations in here. Um, and so this is going to be somewhere we'll, where we will add in a uh, few methods like add list, where it will take the state and some data, and we'll fill this, this out in the future, but we're also gonna make ones for adding a card and editing a card. So we'll fill these out as we go, but this is basically gonna be where we extract the logic for that that we wrote in our components. We'll put that in here and just trigger a call to this method instead.